No. Still not out of batteries, so. Okay. MK Ultra was the subject I left off with on my Facebook. <laughs> MK Ultra. Well, that's a good conversation starter. What's MK Ultra? That was the sensory deprivation experiments or when the government was using LSD on people and, and like doing all sorts of mind control experiments. Uh -huh. behind on the emails. <laughs> I posted a few of your emails today. Oh, I saw one of them. From our Islamic correspondent. Oh, the Lincoln, the Lincoln scene. Not. That Good to be back in the Lincoln scene. Not. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's said. the one I saw. That's the one um, I saw. What about Jennifer Aniston's skinny dipping and then puking her up? I was probably just typing what I, whatever was on TV or so. Oh yeah, they were watching that that Marley and Me movie. Puking her up in the bread mix or something. And I was like, yeah, good stuff. I probably just mixed a few random thoughts of things that people were talking about at the same time. I better share that. You sound like you're part of a mind control experiment. What do they do? Gut out your brain? Uh huh? Did you get a lobotomy? Did I get a lobotomy? Well, lobotomy? Yeah, you sound like someone gave you a lobotomy recently. I got a lobotomy, alright. I guess so. It was called, it was called the flu. It really knocked me on my ass. You lost your holiness? My brain was just like a, a haze. Yeah, I, somehow I stopped that. I helped stop that sinus infection when I started. Told you my dreams were like all I saw was cubes. Were you like on cold medicine or something? Flu medicine? Yeah. Flu medicine dreams. Flu medicine dreams. Yeah. I wish I could remember more of them because it was really interesting. Like all uh, the different cubes of videos that I saw. It was like you gotta watch more TV even while you're sleeping. There was so much <laughs> going on. <laughs> the TV never ends. Grass, anyone? So it was like a dream come true because there was more TV going on. This is like MK Ultra. I think you're in an MK Ultra experiment. I just got it recorded on YouTube. I'm um, there for two days at the motel. Definitely MK Ultra. Naked women. There's nothing but naked women and prepping for. Nothing. Yeah, they like show up for like two minutes. If you want to call that putting, naked women. Putting on their makeup. You were just watching a couple of whores getting ready to go out on the town. It was fun. <laughs> they were trying on all kinds well, of different get clothes. An and... Get an apartment in uh, Grand Island. Then. Well, you probably yeah, need to get that. you probably need to get into that modeling industry a little better. I get old though after a while. Even after the two two nights at the hotel room, I was well. Pretty you, much, you need some models that are a bit more I, decent. I was pretty much spent on it. 
But it's because the models, yeah, the, the models are pre, are that great of quality. You need better quality models to make it more interesting. Yeah. You can't market garbage. Yeah. <laughs> now it's like a sleazy model agent. Now we're having a sleazy <laughs> model agent uh, pep talk here. Corey takes some good pictures. Well, yeah, not good enough. Yeah, they're good. Well, I don't see no, I don't see any of those mongrels. Then we cleaned up nice. Get get more mongrels on there. I show them to Brian. Brian like them. <laughs> Brian. Well, he's not even gonna admit that he read my email. He just accidentally clicked on that button. I think we brought Chad Healy into that Indonesian conversation with the Dinar. You didn't have to know Indonesian to see that it was talking about Africa and... Huh? Chad Healy's got a super cute girlfriend. Good. He's taken care of. He's taken care of. It'll just get better now because I dumped all that Islam on him. Inshallah. How come I can get a super cute girlfriend? Well, you got I mean, to like at least live within a you gotta live within a sixty watch. mile radius of I one. Do I do wrong? They never latch on to me fully. Well, it's like this fakeness. One thing you gotta do is live within a sixty mile radius of. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you gotta live in the same place as they live in. That's a problem. Get out of here! You'll be next door. There's plenty of them out here. I don't know. My life's alright. Oh, just get, just go to Grand get, Island and say that you're a modeling agent and start taking pictures. I get plenty of women. Just go to Grand Island to the Conestoga Mall and say you're recruiting for a modeling agency. It's easy. Throw out, throw out the name of some brands. I'd trade them all, though, for one real one. One that stuck with me and made me fried chicken on Sundays. Well, you said you don't like black women, so you don't get that. No black women. Then you don't get anyone that's going to be cooking you fried chicken. You ever seen a white woman that knows how to cook fried chicken? They'll just get... They'll just get grease... I'll just get a grease burn every time they try. <laughs> so you don't you don't get anyone that cooks fried chicken if you're a racist Ku Klux Klan member. No. No fried chicken for the KKK. Sorry. I still haven't given up on this convenience store girl with all the Nightmare Before all Christmas tattoos on her. Katie. Maybe it's because you like... Wait. 